This is brute force, measured in torque, not just horsepower. The determination and dexterity of side-by-sides have long been tested against the elements, against the terrain, sometimes even against their own drivers, but rarely against each other. The Sling and Dirt Series. Side by dirt sling and side, for the first time, 4x4s will throw down in an all-out race through the mountains. Some are custom-built off-road vehicles. Others purely stock right off the showroom floor. Next up in the race series, a quest for speed. The Wind Rock Wide Open held at Coal Creek OHV, just three miles outside of Oliver Springs, Tennessee. The Wind Rock Open is known for speed. This 1.3 mile course is all about pure adrenaline. Performance is measured in miles per hour and time, not a racer's technical driving skills. Brought to you in high definition, Sling and Dirt will put you on the edge of your seat, four by four, side by side. In the Sling and Dirt series, we're all about dirt racing in many different forms. Endurance, rally, hill climbs, even mud bogs. Now, let's slick some dirt. Today we're at Coal Creek OHV for the second annual Wind Rock Wide Open. It's a very cold, muddy morning, so the track will be completely different from the last time we raced here, which was back in the fall. Where dust was the main issue before, today <laughs> it'll be mud. The course is 1.3 mile, race for speed. The competitors will have to manage the steep inclines and sharp hairpin turns before moving into the woods. Other than that, the track is well groomed and set up for pure adrenaline with several jumps that will test these drivers and their machines. Uh, the way I describe it is, uh, I've, I've kind of termed it as an open cross course, uh, which is something new that we haven't seen anywhere else. Uh, it's not motocross, it's not endurance. Uh, it is, it is 1.3 miles of, of wide open terrain. It does have a fair amount of topographic change, a lot of ups and downs and turns, and and uh, some of the turns are, are rolled to the outside, so it does take a lot of driver skill, uh, but there's a lot of speed involved. Uh, and, and when we built the course, we wanted to be able to set it up to where even a novice rider, they could, they could compete and ride in it and, and have a good time. The winners today will be the ones who are able to manage the mud and keep their machines upright. This event will be a time competition where racers are against the clock on three laps. Overall time for the three laps will be used to crown the winner. The first division hit the track today will be the Rail Buggies. First in line, Troy Van Winkle in his brand new two-seat Acro-powered Rail Buggy. This meant he will be facing the most challenging conditions of an untouched track after several days of rain left it gooey with mud. These rail buggies are equipped for these conditions, and Troy turns in an impressive elapsed time of 8.02. Lewis Travis running a Honda Power rail buggy turned in a pretty respectable ET of 8.16. Now in order to turn these rail buggies, you have to ride the brakes and slide through the corners. Lewis crossed the finish line with brakes that were more than just a tad bit hot. Well actually, they were on fire. Make these things turn, you gotta ride the brakes, and that's apparently I'm elder than them. It's hot. Brakes are hot. I thought we was gonna ride. 
Stay tuned for more Sling and Dirt as we move up to the ATV 701 and Up Class. That's next.